My name is Tim Papenfuss. I'm a design engineer at SOSNEX Europe. At our design center in Munich, Germany, we design graphic display controller chips. So these are chips that is process and output emoji for displays and cars. So what's happening in automotive right now is the display resolutions are getting bigger and bigger. So we have to keep up, keep up with that. And one limitation is always like the input bandwidth. Our latest project was an automotive graphic display controller with a part number SC1701. Now for this project, we uh, designed a VESA display stream compression decoder into it. And the advantage of that is that with uh, display stream compression, you can compress the input video by up to three to one and still have a good visual quality. So we've used Halvin synthesis before for other image processing uh, modules, but with this design, we had uh, some other challenges to face. Uh, partly because the design is just more complex and you have multiple modules communicating with each other. So we had to face that. The first challenge was to achieve the throughput. So we want to achieve a throughput of three pixels per clock. Now to do that, some of the processes within the display stream compression have a latency constraint of one cycle, meaning they have to process from input to output within one cycle. The second challenge we had was verification. So the verification space is virtually infinite because there are so many compression parameters that you can potentially vary. So for verification, we wanted to simulate at least a reasonable number of uh, use cases at the system C uh, behavior level. And for this, you, only, you also want to simulate uh, the rate buffer behavior. So you want to make sure that your rate buffer is uh, of the proper size and it doesn't un underflow or overflow during operation. And for this, we needed a, a behavior level at system C, which is accurate in terms of throughput. In Stratus HLS, we built a hierarchical design consisting of several sub-modules, and we connected them together using uh, handshake interfaces from the Stratus library, which is called Flex Channels. Now, Flex Channels uh, has a non-blocking API, which gives you very fine control over the timing of the interfaces. And by that, we were able to um, really meet this latency constraint of one cycle, uh, which we had in this design. So Caden supported us in using this library and bringing up the design. Another feature we use from Stratus are the so-called uh, the clock domain crossing interface library. So we generated some clock domain crossing uh, interfaces in Stratus, and that enabled us to partition the design into uh, like a slower core clock domain and a fast interface domain. One key result for us was to be able to do most of the verification on the behavioral system C level, which is much faster than just waiting for RTL and verifying it every time. And I think what you end up with with uh, Stratus HLS is you have a design that is much more reusable because it's just system C and technology independent. So for example, what we're doing now is power performance and area optimizations. And with Stratus, you can do iterations much more faster than you would be able to do it at RTL. For example, if you want to use a different technology library, you can just uh, script that in. Or if you want to do a different configuration of your design, for example, using a lower color bit depth, you can just do a script for that. So it becomes less about having one perfect RTL design and more having like a solid design base and then scripting the optimal configuration for your project. What I would recommend to anybody starting a new project and if you have a complex project which consists of several modules, first think about your model of communications, how you're going to connect the modules together, like what interfaces you're going to use, uh, whether blocking and non-blocking APIs you're going to use. So first design that and then connect everything together and check that it still works. And then it's easy to fill in the comp computation parts because your communication is going to determine what you can achieve in terms of throughput and latency.